Hi guys and welcome to another episode of The One Motorhome. This is the channel where we try to find the perfect layout, the perfect design and basically the perfect motorhome for you. If you haven't already, do subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon and you'll get notifications as and when I post videos. Also, if you've got something to say, do leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And of course, if you do like the content, then give me a thumbs up. Uh, today, I'm going to be demonstrating this absolute beauty. This is a German built Catago Chic Sea Line T 4.9 LE. Now, you guys may remember this from previous demonstrations. So a little bit, uh, probably about four months ago, I actually did a demonstration of this vehicle for you, but it's come back. So I'm at Choose Leisure Motorhomes in Canterbury. They've got it back. It's only got 746 miles on the clock. It's had some very nice extras added to it. So again, I'm going to give you a demonstration around the vehicle, show you some of the extras this one's got, and basically show you the luxury of this vehicle. So follow me around and let's have a good look. Starting off on the front, Mercedes-Benz chassis, 170 brake horsepower. Of course, you've got the big star on the front. So this is German v German. Catago being a German brand and obviously Mercedes being a German brand as well. A nine speed fully automatic gearbox, 16 inch alloy wheels. And just to get into this storage with you, look at this, completely double floored. So you've got storage going all the way through and out the other side, and you can also access that from inside the vehicle. This one has also got a huge inverter on it as well. Um, so that is incredible. Um, to the right of this, you've got a refillable gas flow system. So no more lugging these bottles around. These ones just stay in here and then you can fill them up at the petrol station. They've got an external filler on the door here as well. So a lot of garages, just in case you weren't aware, they don't allow you to uh, fill the, the gas up from inside. So it needs to be an external filling point, which this one has got. Uh, this is where you fill up the fresh water tank and it's got 170 litres fresh water and 140 litres wastewater. Um, this one does come with two uh, 80 amp hour uh, gel batteries, so two leisure batteries and a vehicle battery. And look at the size of the garage on this. Look how cool the Catago branding is at the back. You've got these elastic straps to hold things in place. And this is the winder for your awning. And this one's got a 4.5 meter uh, Chule canopy on it. Just to give you the dimensions of this garage, it's 1050 millimeters. So over a meter by 1140 millimeters. So, well, I mean, how much stuff can you fit in here? Um, at the back of the vehicle, this one's had a tow bar fitted to it by Mercedes-Benz themselves. So you know that that is an excellent tow bar. Nice chic C-line badge at the back with the Mercedes beneath it. And just above the top here, you have got a reversing camera. The lights are in the shape of a C and these are LED indicators. So they basically glide along like the Audi indicators do. And it looks honestly fantastic. Round to the other side. This is the other entrance to the garage door and it's the same, it's over a meter by around 1.1, 1.2 meters. So 1050 millimeters by 1140 millimeters. And look at the checker floor in the vehicle as well. So this is checker plated to stop it getting damaged. And also you have got heating which comes through into here as well. So that's gonna stop things in the garage getting cold. Standing a little bit back from the vehicle just to show you this. Look at these black alloy wheels with this. They look amazing. And the graphics going down the side, fantastic. Uh, I'll put the dimensions on the screen for you of the vehicle. Uh, I think it's around 7.5 by around 2.3 meters in width. This is your 4.5 meter Chule canopy. It's also got a SOG system on it. So you've got a toilet system, uh, toilet cassette system just behind here and a SOG system. So basically that's like a chimney going up to the roof um, to get rid of any, any unwanted smells. Um, also on the roof, you have got a Wi-Fi aerial and a digital TV aerial. 
and just down here just to point out this one's got a refillable sorry this one's got an external uh, gas connection so you can plug in a gas barbecue into there just inside here you've got more storage and this is where the gel leisure batteries live so really easy access to get to those and again you've got storage going all the way down and underneath there um, so like I say Katago are famous for this storage um, electric step at the bottom LED strip light at the top but let's go inside and have a proper look shall we Right guys, just before we go inside the vehicle, I just want to put a massive thank you out there to Choose Leisure Motomes in Canterbury for letting me demonstrate this vehicle today. Uh, they've currently got this one in stock for 139,995, and that includes all of the extras that it's got on it. But we are going to go inside and go through all of these extras with you. So let's go. So going inside the vehicle, first thing I'm going to point out is it has got a fly screen so that just pulls across like this to protect you from those flies going inside and then going in you've got lots and lots of storage here so underneath here plenty of storage inside here you've got some storage to keep your shoes and then walking in let's have a look so look at this Oh my God, it's absolutely amazing. 24 inch screen TV, which literally sits down just inside that sofa to keep it tucked out of the way. Inside the cab, you've got a multifunctional steering wheel, a 10.2 inch MBUX Mercedes Benz system with satellite navigation. Of course, you've got cruise control, cab air conditioning, and all the luxuries that you might want. You've also got blinds that go all the way around the front of this. So you've got concertina blinds and just an amazing space. Look, I mean, these seats do swivel all the way around, by the way, guys. So they're very, very comfortable. And this, look at the storage up on the top here. That is fantastic. Um, you've also got the extra skylights in this as well. So one, two skylights here. And again, more storage going all the way around the top there. And um, this area here, which is basically the dinette, uh, this can be converted into another bed, which is fantastic. Of course, you've got two forward facing seats with traveling seat belts. And this is called the Macchiata part leather interior, which is very, very comfortable. Um, but all in all, look at the space here. And this is just the diner area. Let's go and have a look at the kitchen. So just before we go into the kitchen, just above the habitation door here, this is your control panel. So you can turn the water pump on, the TVs. Uh, you can see your fresh water, your wastewater tanks, how much they've got in them. Um, you can also see your battery levels and things like that. Uh, this is the controls for your heating system. So this has got a Truma blown air heating system and this is for your Dometic uh, inverter. So all the controls for that there. Um, all very easy to use and this covers up very nicely with this little hatch here. So that's all protected. But going around into the kitchen area. Um, so massive fridge and freezer. So fridge up on the top, you've got the freezer and this does open up both ways so if you're in the kitchen you can open it from one way in the living area you can open it up from the other way which is very handy um, just here we've got a spice rack or keep your beans and things like that in there and that cleverly tucks away um, but honestly i can't stress enough the quality of this vehicle i think you might have to be in here to actually feel it you know touch it um, to feel how the quality is on this um, in the kitchen area we've got let's have a look three gas burners and it has got a grill oven so big grill oven underneath and then you've got plenty of drawer space down at the bottom just here is where you can do all your preparation for your food and you can take this one out turn it around pop it in there and you've got a nice little chopping board and of course your sink is open when you remove these just up a little bit from that and i excuse the lighting by the way so 
because uh, the LED lights it is flickering a little bit in here. Um, in fact, let me turn that off. Let me just quickly turn it off. I mean, the LED lighting looks fantastic. Honestly, it's amazing, uh, but it's not doing much good for the camera, is it? <laughs> so in the kitchen again, this little sink, you can pull it out so you can wash your dishes down. You've got a little coffee machine just to the uh, just to the rear here. And look at the Katago glasses in there. Look at these. They're amazing. Above that, more storage space. And then to the left, of course, we've got these shelves for storage. And this one has actually got, look at this, habitation air conditioning fitted to it as well. So if it's a very hot day, you can have that air con going and everything will be very cool. Through here, this is the entrance to the bedroom and the toilet and shower. So you can keep that completely separated from the rest of the vehicle. Two single beds at the back, which can, by the way, be pulled out like this. A little infill cushion goes in here, so that can make into a double bed. They don't miss a trick, these guys. So underneath here, storage, storage again in the steps, and then it just slides back in. To the right hand side, underneath here, we've got a wardrobe so you can hang all your clothes and things in there. And you can open that from the side as well. So if you don't want to lift the bed up, you can open it that way. And the same on the other side, actually. You can either lift this up so you can get into the storage or you can open the door. And obviously you've got a hanging rail in there as well. All lit up inside as well. So as soon as you open the door, that all lights up. Um, plenty of storage all the way around the top here. A nice skylight in the bedroom. So you can open that up, keep things nice and cool, get a bit of a breeze in here. And trust me, these beds are super, super comfortable. And I'll give you the dimensions of these beds on the screen in a second. Just to show you, this vehicle doesn't just come with one TV. It actually comes with two. So if you're lying in bed, you've got another 24 inch uh, TV here, <laughs> which is actually in the perfect location if you're just chilling out in bed. Plus, just to show you as well, you can separate the bedroom off. So you undo this little catch here, pop that open, slide that one across. Then you undo this little catch, slide that across, and it all cleverly closes off. And what this means is you've got your bedroom, toilet, shower, separate, with a door leading into the dinette area and the kitchen area at the front. So there's separation all the way through. So if you're gonna be taking people with you, that is always a very nice option. Just inside here, we've got the toilet. And this is an electric flush toilet and it does swivel around as well. So you can get very comfortable on there. Um, this is your sink for getting ready, soap dispenser, uh, toothbrush holders, and you've got this amazing uh, mirror all the way around for getting ready. And you've got a skylight just on the top there as well. Just to show you actually with this toilet, what you can do is you can open this little catch, pull that away, and then you can close the toilet door off as well. So you've got a separate toilet. Also, there's a little bit inside when you're in there, you can actually close all that off so no one can peek through the gap. I doubt anyone's going to peek through the gap, but you know what? It's nice to have. Going back into the living area just to show you a walkthrough. So let's do a quick walk tour for you. So from the front, gorgeous, turning around. Lots of nice floor space going all the way through, leading all the way back to the bedroom. Right, so just to go through a few of the extras that this vehicle has got. So here we go, and this is gonna be a lot. So here we go, and bear with me on this. So it's got the super package, the multimedia package, the Mercedes-Benz drive and assistance package, the TV kitchen, uh, kitchen package with coffee capsule machine, and the 1800 watt inverter, 16 inch black alloy wheels, the increased load from 4,200 kilograms to 4,500 kilograms. We've got the Chule canopy, so the awning, the LED strip uh, above the habitation door. It's got the aluminium checkered uh, floor in the garage. 
It's got refillable gas low system, the socket package with additional sockets, exterior gas connection, so your external barbecue points. It's got the gas oven with grill, uh, the lounge seating area that can be converted into a sleeping area, and the macchiato part leather and carpet in the living area and the cabin area. Um, also, it's got cab air conditioning, cruise control, the EMP self-leveling system, habitation air conditioning, reversing camera, sat nav, Mercedes fitted tow bar, a TV aerial and a Wi-Fi aerial. What a beauty. So guys, that was another episode of the One Motorhome channel. Remember, do subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you get notifications, click a thumbs up if you like the footage, and also if you've got any questions, do leave a comment below. This vehicle we've been looking at today is the Katago Chic Sea-Line T 4.9 LE. And do remember that, well, at this present time, as we're talking now, uh, this vehicle is available at Choose Leisure Motorhomes in Canterbury. So www.chooseleisure.co.uk. My name's Jonathan. This is the One Motorhome channel, and I look forward to seeing you soon, guys. Take care.